So here it is dry, and I think what I'd like to do is all of the, the mossy parts that we used the, the flocking on, I'd like to really lay in with some very vibrant green, like a neon green, the, the, the neon green that's actually on the, the marine here. Um, these are, these are quasi-plague marines. Uh, I like the aesthetic, but um, of the armor being corroded and whatnot. Um, girl painting, another channel on YouTube. I'll put a link in the bottom. Uh, she did a great job uh, with some of this. I, I love corrosion on armor, and she developed a, a process for essentially just having all of the, the entire mini being like that, and it, it looks great. It's very easy, and the the uh, final product is, is phenomenal. Do a little bit of uh, object source lighting for the eyes and do something interesting with the hair, which is not done yet on, on my miniature. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm shamelessly stealing her process for this. Um, <clears throat> but the, uh, the, uh, the base, I want it to be not quite so dark so it contrasts with the uh, the marine some. So this is uh, the folk art citrus wash that uh, that I made in a previous video um, and uh, we're just gonna lay in a pretty heavy amount of it down into all of the areas where we've got that flock and it's gonna soak it up Now, if we had laid this down with PVA instead of super glue like we did, I would be very concerned that all of this liquid was going to reactivate the glue that we held down um, and possibly start some of it breaking loose. But because we used uh, super glue or CA, um, I, I'm, I'm not I'm not worried about it at all. We can we can be a lot more um, what rough on it, and it won't come loose like it will if we had used PVA. Now some of you may say yes you could seal it before or maybe the spray paint would seal it properly but we'd have to put a lot of it on there before uh, it would actually truly be sealed and even then some liquid could get through but uh, that's a lot more work and you could just use CA. Um, so we've got that now. Uh, I'm gonna let that dry and we'll probably end up reapplying this a couple of times before we uh, we get to the the desired effect. I think it looks nice right there. Uh, I don't want to make it completely that color because I think it looks sort of almost like bioluminescent here. Um, so I'm going to get this dry and maybe add a couple more layers to it, but that's it. So, All right, see you guys in just a minute. <clears throat> Here's what we got once I <clears throat> applied about three coats of that wash and then did just the slightest touch of white paint in with the wash uh, for the, the middle areas here. Uh, right here and right here, I wanted to be sort of the focus points, uh, the parts that were furthest into the, the center of, of the, the mass of uh, moss. So, um, and to, to do a little bit of, of object source lighting here, uh, I, I put a little bit of wash up here. I like set the brush down here and pulled out to the edge. I made sure to water it down a lot first uh, and just pulled out to the edge and pulled out to that edge and then pulled in from that edge and a little bit here um, and just a little bit around let me get this all the way turned a little bit on the little surfaces around this area just for some hints of, uh, of lighting there. But I wanted to mostly be focused here now we could do some more with this area and that area. Uh, I may do a little bit more dry brushing on those parts, but for the most part I'd like for those to stay as dark as they are just so that we've got high contrast between here and here. That's what is going to make uh, um, lighting effects look so so bright is that things around them look dark in comparison to the lit areas. So the front here of the base which is what, you know, for display purposes at least, we want to look the, the best. I mean, you want it to be an all-around good model, but um, having him up there, the colors tie in together between the, the eyes and the, the ground. Um, I think that would look 
very sharp. Uh, I'll probably do a few more touches on this before I call it quits, but that's just me being a perfectionist. But this is an easy way to do some quick bases, and frankly, I think they look, they look great for you know the just maybe 15, 20 minutes we spent making this. And if you are mass producing them, doing a whole bunch of them all at once, you could do it much faster because then you're not having to stop to you know uncap this paint and put this paint away, and wash the brush. You're just going and going and going, and you spray paint a whole bunch of them at the same time. You break out a whole bunch of pieces at the same time. You pour the glue at the same time. You dump them in the flock at the same time. You're gonna you're gonna do it much faster that way. So, um, well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. If you got um, some some comments or some suggestions for another basing video you'd like to see, please uh, drop them in the comments below, and I'll be happy to oblige where I can. Thank you for watching again.